Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're checking out quintessentially British memes. Number 100 and up. You alright, huh? Get out of the road. You can't park there, sir. Pardon? You can't park Pull there. Pull over, I'm gonna breathalyze you because I think you're drunk. Whoa, whoa, that was quick. Is that a cop? Police. The message I'm getting from this video already is that we should look at the guy in the blue shirt. Oh. Oh. Wow, I thought we were about to see a sneezing fit, but it became a furniture malfunction. All right, so the next step is roast the potatoes. Uh -huh. Are your mom yet? <laughs> Funny. Good. Good. Great way to start a roast is with a mom joke. Oh no. Okay. There's a horse inside the pub. No one, no one fell off. No one got hurt. Wow, I thought this guy was about to die. He's fine. So, Vinny, if you're mad about him hurting Patsy, what could Harper do to make you not mad at him? Die. Is that going to solve the problem? Yep. <laughs> that was unexpected. About him hurting Patsy, what could Harper do to make you not mad at him? Die. Is that going to solve Die. the problem? Yep. Yep. Hey, y'all, be sure to go to One Zillion Odd Goldfish and buy a t-shirt. <laughs> Minor issue with the pub. <laughs> Actually, I think what's happening here is I think when you turn on the hob, it's causing the fuse to blow and the circuit is um, frying. Whoa. What? I don't like that they just did that. I hope they, that was an accident. He kicked it. I don't like that. What's so funny about that? I don't get it. I don't like this. Stop. Don't do that. Open the door. No, brother. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hey, boss, open the till. Hey, boss, open the till. <gasps> oh, there's open a snake the till, on it. <laughs> I didn't see a snake on his hand for a long time. I thought it was a banana peel. I need glasses. Oh my God. Is that poisonous? If that's poisonous, that's a weapon. If it's not, it's still sort of a weapon. Open the door. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hey, boss, open the till. Hey, boss, open the till. Open the till, boss. No, 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 no. Okay. He's in on the joke, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay. No one was hurt. The snake is fine. The clerk is fine. Everybody's fine, right? Right, YouTube algorithm? This is a good thing. This is fun. You know it's a gwid party when they're getting dragged out the pond. Oh, you know it's a good party. <laughs> At least she's floating. Great attitude for being soaking wet for the rest of the day. Oh no, what's this? You're 50! Oh shit! Look at your age base! Your age base is 15! Oh, oh. driving! Hey, if you're 15 years old, you're gonna take a car? Don't advertise it. Speech like shh. Yeah. POV, you just got a trim. You're handsome enough, you don't have to keep checking. I'm, t I'm handsome. You're handsome. How handsome? Very. Oh, thank you, love. Stunning, mate. <laughs> what a nice lady. Very. Hey, we got two seconds. Would you like to be on TV? Honestly, you could win a hundred grand, man. God, what's this about? Basically, what it is is a new reality TV show. Yeah. Um, basically, we're just trying to get people today that can be contestants on it, with a top prize being a hundred thousand pounds. Right. Um, the okay. show is called I'm a Queer. Get me out of here. Um, 
So what we're looking for is, is sort of, you know, gay men. Yeah, um, I'm not. No? No. Oh, sorry, I thought from the... Shut up. Y'all, this makes me think of a great TV show idea. You have 12 guys. They're all straight, as hetero as they can come. You tell each one of them individually that everyone else in the house is gay, and you have to convince them that you're also gay. If they detect that anyone is straight, that person gets voted out, and the last person wins a million dollars. So then you have all these straight guys pretending that they're gay. <laughs> It would be so fun to watch. They're like trying to outdo each other in the how gay they can be. This, my friend, is football injuries. You think this one's bad? This is the worst one. Look at this one. Skidding along. Oh, oh, that, oh. oh, oh cruel. <laughs> cruel. You'll never learn, bro. You'll never learn, will you? You won't. You'll never learn, big boy. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. Every day I'll make an orange heart just for you. It's nice. Oh. Wow. Wow. Just going to see um, Savile's abandoned house today. What it's all about. Cool. Wow. Just like them um, facing the three sisters. Cool. That's keeping Amy. Jimmy. Oh, jeez. I realized now at the beginning of this clip that he said Savile's house. That was once around Marilyn Monroe's chops. Oh my God. You can just How lift your hair for me, Charlotte. Her chops. Wouldn't it be awful if they unthreaded? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Richard? Oh my. You made that happen. No. I don't believe that happened. Could I just confirm you have it on camera? I was not touching that at the time. Didn't you? Did you? Is this? No. It, Hilarious. Oh. So restring him, what's a big deal? What's a big deal? Somebody's getting fired today. Whoever owns this necklace. Whoever owns this necklace, Yo. I've got quite a lot of them here. Oh this has got to be an April Fool. This is, this has to be the most British response to a crash. <laughs> oh! Absolute dick. <laughs> yeah. Well, go then. <laughs> he said the word absolute before a, na a noun, and then he gave right of way. Gave right of way to the dick. Very British. Hey, roundabouts are tricky sometimes, you know? Gotta make space. I have heard that putting the word absolute in front of a name is very British. You absolute diamond. You absolute muppet. One of my patrons sent me a message saying that she calls her boyfriend an absolute teacup. That's adorable. Oh. You see, you got in your mouth. You got the, huh? You got the new type of beard, cousin. <laughs> That's hair? <laughs> you look like the joke of him. It's like an undersized mustache. <laughs> Can you grow hair there? I guess I have a little bit of fur right there. See, his eyebrows are gone. I think he's m trying to rebalance the facial hair. So he's got an eyebrow here now, and he has an eyebrow here. Maybe he's farming them. Maybe he's going to slice the skin off of that and put it right there. Slice the skin off there. Put it right here. New eyebrows. It does, it does, there's something about it that works. Are you following me? I guess maybe because it looks like lipstick, sort of? Hmm, I guess there's not a name for it. I'm calling it an understash, or a must not stash. <laughs> Codes, I call it, I like the outfit, but like, it's like. And you are not it, shy to look that beautiful. Huh? <laughs> Say that again? You are not shy to look this beautiful. You think I look beautiful? Oh yeah, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
The eye contact makes it creepy. If that creepy eye contact wasn't there, it would be a beautiful expression of humanity. He is beautiful. His eyebrows look shaped. Maybe that's what it is. He's beautiful, regardless. Take the compliment. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> hey. Yeah, they're making a real connection here. For better or worse. I'm gonna let myself think that what happened after this moment was that they became good friends and maybe lovers, and that's fine. But it was all consensual and not creepy at all. Let's move on. <laughs> Wait, why are you here? <laughs> I understand that, but I feel like. Right. Wonderful woman. Yeah. Wonderful man. Yeah. But I believe wonderful man is shaggy and wonderful woman. So they've been together for like a year and a yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So why are you here? Yeah. <laughs> oh. That makes so much more sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I gotta hear what they're saying again. Why are you here? Okay. He says, why are you here? She says, these are my friends. He says he believes they are a couple. Been together for like a year and yeah. now. Okay, and she confirms, yeah, they've been together for a year. Why are you here? So why are you here? Why are you being a third wheel? <laughs> Did she say she just saw them just now at the food court? It makes so much more sense. <laughs> okay. Okay, the funny guy. I think they should be together. I think they make a great couple. I think they all need motorcycles. To ride around the city together. Happily ever after. They got married, they had five kids. You heard what I said? Did he his number? This girl kept calling my boy, so I pretended to be a girl so she could leave him alone. That might make her want him more. <laughs> Delete his number, please. <laughs> yeah, I will. Are you for tea? It's not happening to tell We're him. Well, then chat him, babe. <laughs> Well, I have words with him after. Can you go, please? <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> oh, wait, what? She called back. Excuse me, I told you to block the number, not him. <laughs> no, I told you because you were the one texting off his phone. <laughs> Dang, that must be one handsome dude. I'm sure he's a lovely man. Guys are having tea while waiting for firefighter. <laughs> well, they might not see the smoke. <laughs> they sure are drinking tea, aren't they? They might not see the smoke, though, you know? They might not know they're about to die. They might they might be trapped in there and they're like, what are we gonna let's just have tea? No more. Check his mouth. Right! Dad! Fire! Oh, the God. That cat caught on fire, y'all. Holy shit, man! <laughs> I kinda have to see that again. Check his mouth. Right! Dad! Oh, there is fire. That's fine, I think. I want to party with this cat. Y'all be sure to go to One Zillion Odd Goldfish and like and subscribe. They put a lot of good compilations. Funny. But I just watched the British ones. <laughs> These were great. And if you made it this long in the video, give me a like and subscribe, right? Yeah. I'd like to thank my patrons. Thank y'all for watching this with me. And I'll see you next time. Later.